Hello everyone and welcome to 12.4 which is dealing with the law of sines. Now, this is for non-right triangles. Do not use this with right triangles. Continue to use Sokotoa. A, it's easier. B, it's foolproof. C, they're right triangles so you use that kind of stuff. So, we have this thing called the law of sines. So, we have got a triangle. They'll give you three pieces and they'll expect you to find everything else. In some cases, we're going to be using the law of sines, like we're about to learn about here. Other cases, we'll have to use the law of cosines. It all depends on what you're given. So, all the law of sines is, is that it's a ratio of the sine of the angle to the side equals the sine of a different angle and its side, and the sine of another angle and its side. Sides are the ones, so like, across from angle A is side A across from angle B is side B, across from angle C is side C. Remember, these are not right triangles, there's no A squared plus B squared equals C squared, but we still do know that angle A plus angle B plus angle C has to equal 180 since it's still a triangle. So let's give it a shot. And I like to just make a list of angle ABC, side ABC, just to make sure that A, I've answered all the pieces, and B, it kind of helps keep things organized, especially if they don't draw a figure for you. So, we are looking to find angle A first, since that's easy. I know that all of my angles add up to 180, so for angle A, if I take 180 minus the sum of my other two angles, I get 27. My answer for angle A must be 27. Now let's start working on our sides. So, I have both pieces of B, so I'm going to use the sine of 53 over 9, sine of my angle with its corresponding side, equal to, I just found what angle A is, and I don't know what side A is, so I'll leave that as A. At this point, I have a proportion, so I'll cross multiply. So A sine of 53 equals 9 times the sine of 27. To get A all by itself, we'll divide by sine of 53. and we'll plug that into our calculator. Do not round until the very end, because if you round in too many places, you're going to end up being further away from the answer than you would want to be. So we pull out our calculators, make sure we are in degrees, and again, unless you take out the kit batteries or reset the RAM, it should stay in degrees once you make it in degrees. So I'm just going to type this right in. Put my parentheses, just so that way this whole numerator is divided by sine of 53. 9 sine of 27. Close my parentheses, divided by sine of 53. And I get about 5.1. We're going to do the same thing for side C, because again, A squared plus B squared does not equal C squared. So, I'm going to use that same sine of 53 again, just because, though I'm quite positive 5.1 is correct, I don't want one answer to necessarily depend on something else I had found. And if I use something that was given to me, that's going to be foolproof. So we cross multiply. I've got C times the sine of 53 equals 9 times the sine of 100. Divide both sides by sine of 53 to get C all by itself. 
and let's see what we get. If you aren't good about remembering with parentheses, do each piece separately. Do 9 times the sine of 100. Hit enter. Then just hit divided by sine of 53. 11.1 1 approximately, since we're running to the tenth. So, those are my three answers. I've solved my triangle, I have everything I need. Sort of related to the law of signs is a method of finding the areas of a triangle that are not right, that we don't have a height given to us. These are three separate formulas that all essentially say the same thing. You're taking one half times each of the sides times your included angle. So, for example, I'm given angle A, so I'm going to use literally this first one. So one half, one side is six, another side is 3, and I want the sine of 25. I'm just going to type that straight into my calculator. 1 half, or you can type in 0.5, times 6, times 3, times my sine of 25. The area of this triangle is about 3.8, and if you want to be fancy and include units, centimeters squared. That's about it for this section. We'll look at maybe one or two examples in class, and I'll see you then.